If you're wondering how to survive Hurricane Irene, you came to the right place. Here are some vital tips on how to overcome nature's wrath. Number one, watch as many natural disaster films as you can. 2012, Twister, or A Day After Tomorrow. It's important to lose your sanity at a time like this. Panicking will alarm those around you. Say things like, that's gonna happen to us, or holy shit, did that sound come from the film or was it from out there? So along with the actual hurricane going on outside, it'll give some realism to the movie experience. Number two, don't cancel your plans. Go out. Embrace the chaos. Plus, doesn't the idea of being trapped in a flood in the middle of the street with 70 mile per hour winds sound appealing? No? Fine. Suit yourself, but if you get stuck on a newsstand somewhere, you can actually risk the life of a rescuer, or you can make them a hero. Now, isn't that something to shoot for? Number three, if you already had matches, bottles of water, flashlights, batteries in your house prior to the announcement of the hurricane, throw them out immediately. You're a cheater. You wouldn't want to set that example for your children, would you? After you throw them out, refer to tip number two for further instructions. Number four, listen to all the people on Facebook and Twitter who say this is a sign of the world coming to an end. These are smart, logical people who see the world for what it is, and it's not like they've ever been wrong on this sort of thing, but they have to realize that a hurricane is much like a dog. It's harmless unless it smells fear, so go out. Continue your day without a care in the world. Never mind Hurricane Katrina, that never happened. It was a ploy by the mainstream media to sell same tickets. So take a walk. Let me know how it is and have fun. Because if you don't, much like the terrorists, Irene will win. Irene will, Irene will, what is it? Irene, I'm not doing this again.